You are listening to an all new episode of the Model Experience Podcast live from the Model House. The Model Experience is the number one resource for models. Real models, real stories, real resources. Visit themodelexperience.net to learn more and be sure to follow us on Instagram at the Model Experience. What's up, guys? We are back at it again in the Model House. Yes. This time in the theater, though. So okay. switch up a little bit, but, uh, you know, it's looking a little bit luxurious. Yes. I kind of like it better down here. Yeah? In the basement. I feel like we're sharing our humble abode. It's humble, right? Real humble. Real humble. <laughs> Not too humble, though. <laughs> a little bougie. It's very bougie, actually. <laughs> it's very, very bougie. There's a pool out back. Like, come on. Yeah. <laughs> it's sexy Just it's right it's place. what a model house should be, should be exactly. when you think of a model house you think of like all these beautiful people all these amazing like, amenities yeah. so much money coming in and going out mostly coming in and out. <laughs> <laughs> a lot going out though too so anyway yeah. welcome to the model experience podcast we're super excited to have you listening and tuning in we've had so much like viewership in the last like I guess it's not viewership. I guess it's listens. But we've had, we've had some listenship. Like a lot, a lot more people are tuning in. So and a lot of feedback, right? Yeah, really good feedback. So thank you for your ears. Thank you for your reviews. Thank you for your likes and comments and all that stuff. Yeah, keep we're it up, guys. Keep it coming. Keep it coming. So we're going to get started with some current events. Lamaya Rio, tell us what's going on in the industry. Well, we all know the first Monday of May is coming up. And do you know what that means? If you don't, you should. What is it? It is the Met Gala. Yes. Yes. Ding, 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 ding. Where they raise money for the Metropolitan Museum in New York. All the stars come out. We've had Beyonce. Oh, wait. Last year was like the Cardi B, Nikki thing, right? Oh, yeah. Didn't they get in a fight? Yeah, and then actually, this is so perfect because literally every time I hear Met Gala, all I can think is, I'm about to shut it down. <laughs> Met Galliano, which is like a Nikki lyric. And I feel like, you know, it all just kind of coincides. I can't wait to see what she does. But like, you know what? The theme is camp, which is interesting because let me, let me get that. Uh, camp. Yes, camp. And it's interesting because they could use these events that happen and play it up and make it quirky and weird and funny. So here, here's what, let me, let me bring this to you real quick. Camp, Notes on Fashion, curated by Andrew Bolton, okay? So it's the exhibit which examines how the elements of irony, human, I mean human, humor, humor, parody, theatricality, and exaggeration are expressed in fashion. So I'm sure people are going to be using like real life events that happen and maybe just exaggerating it through their fashion. Like, you don't know. Somebody come in there like with an exaggerated black eye or cats, you know, claws (laughs) or no, like, you know what I'm saying? They could just like play it up. What a weird thing to me. It's interesting. Yeah. I would die if they had a round too. (laughs) Anyway, so what else is going on, Rio? So um, I'm actually like gearing up for Pride, and I know a lot of social media influencers and other celebrities that I am in contact with were all really excited about it. Um, I've been going to Pride for just about as long as I've lived in Los Angeles, and I have a really good community of friends who go with me or that I see. So I'm really excited for that. Um, It's actually a really great opportunity to show off like fashion wise yeah you know and it's, it's like a I little fashion it. show because <laughs> those are really all is. of your followers too you that's know, amazing yeah and you know what the the better you dress the more dirty looks you get which means like you, you really did that she really loves yeah. that <laughs> yeah you did that she loves the dirty either, looks. Like, you, you either get like dirty looks or everybody is like yes bitch yeah so, i love it like i've actually never been to pride but i, know, me I would either. So I had you go to check It'd that out so that sounds fun yeah there's two there's one in los angeles and there's one in long beach and i actually have been to both um, I love both. I try to go to both of them each year. They're about like a month apart, I believe. A month or two apart. That's dope, though. Um, nice. Yeah, so we're all gearing up for that, getting our outfits ready and stuff. Yeah, what you gonna be So wearing? if you guys see me at Pride, let's kiki, come on. You're be wearing that extra little boot we discussed, the squat <laughs> boot out. So speaking of LGBTQ. <laughs> I-A, sorry, there's so many acronyms, and I just want to be politically correct. No, it's funny, though. Can I just say something? Yeah. LGB is my initials. <laughs> Lamaya Good Ballinger. Really? Yeah. Well, are you, you should be involved. <laughs> <laughs> no, exactly. Like, well, I just was realizing that, like, just like a couple weeks ago, I was like, my That's freaking funny. name is not cool. Okay. Yeah. LGB. Anyway, yeah. LGB. <laughs> so, speaking of LGBTQIA, uh, there's a new agency that 
pretty much inclusive to gay, lesbians, people of color, um, and it's called Ink Management. So this is a new agency that just focuses on people of color, and that's pretty much, like, all that they represent. So that's really cool that there's an agency that's, like, geared towards, I guess, the minority, in a sense. Um, So Kirby, Rosina, and Nas Coney. They're two kind of, like, Instagram famous models, if you will, and they started their own agency. So that's pretty cool. Shout out to that. That's dope. That's dope. So they were models themselves and decided, hey, we're going to do do an uh, agency. We're going to do it. That's awesome. Speaking of, we're going to do it. We're going to do it. Um, you guys did have it. We did taken it. on <laughs> that, that uh, personification. Yes. You said we're going to do it. Yes. So, so we can have I a... just show you what you guys did? Can I hold this up? Uh, uh, what is this? This is, is our this posing. Posing 101? I believe so. <laughs> Every time I see it, I'm like, damn, I look fine. I'm I mean, you know what? And that's what you really said. No. I need to know what inspired you guys to come up with this because this, I have not seen anything like this where somebody really just breaks down. Well, that's why we created it because there's nothing like this out there and there's such a need for this in the marketplace. We work with so many models and there's really like no like textbook. It's like every other job you can go to school for and you go to school and you get that job and you like it's textbook. Right. But with like the entertainment industry, there's not that many. I mean, there's a blueprint, but it's like it does. It doesn't work that way. Right. There's no guarantees in this industry, and I feel like this definitely simplifies a lot of questions and a lot of problems that people have, you know? Um, a lot of people are like, I don't know what to do with my face, I don't know what to right. do with my body, I don't know how to do this. Where to put my to hands, my fingers. So right. how did you guys come up with the most important or, like, the most relevant things to make sure that you got in here? Is there, like, things that you've experienced in the model industry that really motivated this or things that you've gotten from people that you've worked with that kind of inspired these things? Is it just like black and white? Like these are things you just need to know. Yeah, um, I definitely think that working with Tyra on America's Next Top Model inspired me to be like a model modelpreneur. Yes. You know? Modelpreneur. Um, modelpreneur. Love it. Hey, I got to give a shout out to my girl Aisha, <laughs> Victoria's Secret model. She's really, really dope. I actually want to get her on the podcast. Um, she put like hashtagged it in her picture the other day and I was like I love that modelpreneur so um yeah Tyra definitely geared me into that along with Ashley and um Ashley Graham right no Ashley you Ashley Rowan oh, <laughs> <hey. laughs> uh, okay. yeah it was it was dope working with her and it, it inspired me to do something that would help others because that's why she started America's Next Top Model it was to you know help other models and other girls who were aspiring to be models and maybe didn't have the tools the resources right. they had no idea what to do from ground zero no basically. this is amazing and like, this is like even if you're just trying to take some good selfies or if you are just like a professional and you work a corporate job and you have to go take regular headshots like i feel like this is pretty like just basics that anyone could it's beneficial just around the way you can use it in any occupation that's true right i would take it a step further like the way that i usually explain it to people is like look my grandma my uncle my grandma's uncle (laughs) everybody you know but like friends of friends everybody can use this book Anybody who has said, like, I don't know how, like, what to do right now. I don't know, like, how to pose for this. Like, this is for you. It's dope because it kind of just breaks that ice, you know? A lot of people aren't comfortable taking pictures. And even just, I could just. It just gives you ideas. Bam. Mm -hmm. Like, all right, I can actually, let me try this. And a lot of people are visual learners. For sure. I I am. So if I see an example, I'm like, oh, okay, I get it What's your favorite pose from the book? Yeah. Um, that's really hard, actually. I love the- <laughs> like looking at myself. I'm like all of them. Really <laughs> They're absolutely stunning. Every single pose, every page. <laughs> I love. The What's beauty. your go-to? I love the beauty portraits. Um, and then I do. Let me see. Yeah. Let me see. I want to know what's the Rio go-to pose. There's gotta be. You gotta narrow this down for me, darling. Definitely powerhouse is a go-to for me. The powerhouse page. Let me see. Let me make sure. Mm. Oh, I've seen her on the powerhouse. <laughs> Hold up. Run the tapes back Hold on up. the runway. Let me see the receipts. I've definitely seen the Do power. you want me to bring the receipts? <laughs> I do, baby, because this is just amazing. No, I'm really excited, and I'm just glad that you guys are taking initiative and 
kind of taking matters into your own hands and giving the resources. That's why you do the model experience. Resources, tools, experience. Hold it's on. just awesome. Real models, real stories, <laughs> real resources. Right? Bam. Hey. That's right. Go ahead and plug it up. I love it. So currently we're offering a 20% off promo code podcast. Are you cute? So go to themodelexperience.net, click on Posing 101. It's at the very bottom of the page. And when you go to check out, type in podcast as your promo code and you will save 20%. Tell them again. That's it. <laughs> Say it again. So you heard it here. 20% off. Go follow the directions that our lovely <laughs> Ashley gave you because we got the promo code. What about posing-101.com? Uh, Is that still a thing? Yeah. Okay. So but they can route it through our website, too. Okay. All right, guys. So that uh, wraps us up for the day. We hope you enjoy our Posing 101 book. Check it out now and uh, save. Can I have one for free? <laughs> no. Yes. We're running a business here, Lamaya. I don't Damn. know what you think this is. Thanks, Savage. I'm going to get my 20%. I'm going there now. <laughs> All right, guys. Thank you so much for listening. Until next time. Toodles. Thank you for listening to the Model Experience Podcast, live from the Model House. And that's a wrap.